proximity control, high school example and non-example. Ms. Sentel expects her students to pay attention during instruction. In this example, the teacher implements proximity control to address Lydia's off-task behavior. Take note of how she does so without interrupting the flow of the lesson. A lot of time talking about the right triangle, and now is the time when we're going to connect that to what we know about the trigonometric functions. And remember, these functions that help connect the inside angles of a triangle with the lengths of the sides of the triangle. And so to do this and help us remember the relationship between the sides and the angles, we have this phrase here, it's called the Sakatoa. And Sakatoa, the uppercase letters, the S, the C, the T, they all represent our trigonometric functions. So that S represents the sine function, the C represents the cosine function, and the T represents the tangent function. Now, the lowercase letters here represent the sides of the triangle. To review, the teacher implemented proximity control correctly. She subtly scanned the classroom for students engaging in desired behavior, identified a student not engaged and moved toward that student, stood in close proximity to the student for a few seconds. Note that the best location for Ms. Sentel to stand would have been behind or beside Lydia. However, the tight spacing of the room arrangement prevented her from doing so maintained the pace and flow of her instruction, continued to scan the classroom. When Ms. Sentel notices that Lydia is off task, she attempts to implement proximity control, but does so incorrectly. Notice how she engages with the student and loses her place in the lesson. All right, welcome back from lunch, everybody. I hope you were energized and excited to continue our discussion about triangles. We've spent a lot of time talking about right triangles, and we spent a little bit of time learning about the trigonometric functions that help connect the degrees of the angles within the triangle to the lengths of the sides outside of the triangle. So today we're going to review that and think about the trick we learned called Sakatoa. And Sakatoa helps us remember those three important trigonometric functions. The S stands for the sine function, the C stands for the, all right, now where was I, the S, the C, yes, the T, okay. So the T stands for the tangent function. You didn't say what the C stands for. So the C, you're right, thank you, Christopher. C stands for the cosine function, and T stands for the tangent function. To review, the teacher did not correctly implement proximity control because she failed to maintain the pace and flow of her instruction lingered near and engaged with the student by glaring at her, and lost her train of thought and struggled to resume the lesson.